Hello guys, it's Adish here. Welcome to C14 by Lanthings. In this video, we're gonna make a program to multiply two matrices using 2D arrays. So first, we're gonna see how to perform matrix multiplication in mathematics because I know many of you must have forgot how to do matrix multiplication. Anyway, if you remember how to do matrix multiplication, you can skip this part of the video and go to the program part. So let's get started. Suppose there are two matrices a and b a is a has m m rows and n columns b has p rows and q columns then the answer will have m rows and q columns okay so anyway uh, here we have two matrices a and b we will see how matrix multiplication works in with these two matrices this is 3 by 3 matrix and this is also 3 by 3 matrix so we should get 3 by 3 in our answer okay so this will have 3 rows and 3 columns okay, like that we will have 3 rows and 3 columns for element in first row and first column we will multiply first row of first matrix this is matrix 1 and this is matrix 2 because we have a cross b here into b so here we will multiply first row of first matrix with first column of second matrix this is this is giving a row of first matrix and this is giving column of second matrix so remember it this is first row and second column so we will have first row of first matrix and second column of second matrix so consider here first row first column first row multiply with first column so this is the first row we will multiply this row with this first column of second matrix here what we do is we multiply first element with this first element second element with second element third element with third element and we add them so we will get here a11 into b11 plus a12 into b21 plus a13 into b31 similarly here we will have first row and second column so a11 into b12 plus a12 into b22 and so on so here we will multiply first row of first matrix with third column of second matrix so here 2 1 2 2 2 3 3 1 3 2 3 3 so this is how we do matrix multiplication let us see let us make a program for that using 2d arrays okay as we have to multiply two matrices which we will store using 2d arrays so i have declared three 2d arrays one a which is 3 by 3 b which is also 3 by 3 and answer which will have three rows because first matrix matrix has three rows and second matrix has three columns so answer will have three columns so we will store our answer in this answer matrix we have two integers i and j for loops for scanning matrices and printing them so uh, I have already written code for scanning matrices from user it, uh, you already know that so you can do it easily so now let us write our code where we will write our logic for getting answer so it will also have two loops which will be i and j okay which will be for loops with variables i and j so here we will make our answer i and j equal to some value so okay uh, let us consider first element of first row which will be answer i j because it will have index 0 0 for the first pass i will be 0 and j will be 0 
so answer of 0 0 will be uh, as I've told you it will be a 0 into a 0 a 0 a a 0 0 into b 0 0 okay in our example it was b 1 a 1 1 into b 1 1 but in programming index starts from 0 so it will be a 0 0 into b 0 0 plus a 0 1 that is second element of first row of first matrix into first element of second row of second matrix then third element of first row we will write 0 for the row first row which will be multiplied with first element of last row of second matrix so it will be i a 0 0 answer of 0 0 so then we'll go for a 0 1 but this will only give answer of a 0 0 so we have to generalize it in terms of i and j so as we know that number of rows in answer are same as number of rows of first matrix and number of columns of answer are same as number of columns of second matrix so there must be some relation as we also seen in the example we multiply first row of first matrix with first column of first matrix to get a11 here we get a11 where we multiply first row see row is constant here okay right or wrong here row is constant here and for second matrix column is constant 0 okay okay I have done some mistake it's fine a10 so you can see row for first matrix it's constant a0 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 and column for second matrix is constant a0 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 we know that we multiply first element of first row of first matrix with first element of first row of second matrix then we add a12 into b21 plus a13 into b31 but here we change index by minus 1 first row is 0th row here and first column is 0th column here so now the, the value which is constant we will change it with i and j so here we will write for row we will write i because we have i for row and j for column so column of p is same so we will replace that with j so we get our answer we will verify it it gives us the answer ok multiplication of the two prices is we will again write two for loops for printing ok the for loops for scanning array scanning an array and printing an array are same only but here we have to add one print a new, new line after a row to make it look good and instead of scanf we have printf in this so uh, in, in the inside loop we have j is equal to 0 j less than 3 g plus plus and printf person d and we'll print our answer so let us save this program okay i've already saved it i have a habit of pressing ctrl s so my program is always saved and let's build and run okay so let's enter elements of matrix a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
elements of matrix B, 7, 8, 9, 5, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. Okay. I forgot to give space here. So it is not looking good. Here we give space so we can see our array or it will be congested and we cannot see, we, can, we cannot differentiate the numbers. So again we have to type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 7, 8, 9, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. And the multiplication of two matrices is this. You can verify it with your calculator, scientific calculator or anything or pen and paper. It comes this. So thank you very much for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe and like this video and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you very much.